welcome to Learning About Junior Drag Stores. My name is Bill. If you haven't learned about it yet, go ahead and check out us, check us out at Junior Drag Store Plus. Uh, that'll be, you know, I'll add a link at the uh, bottom of this uh, video here. And my name is, uh, my username on the board is Wild Bill. Go ahead, ask it all the questions you want. There are no silly questions, just, you know, we've heard it all before and we've all been there before. So go ahead, give us a shout out and check us out and we'll be more, we'll all be more than happy to help you. Now, on to the video. Hey everybody, welcome back to another Learning Junior Dragsters video and another video on the Q-Man Drag Analyzer software. Uh, this video we're going to be looking at the test loaded tab and the features and uses that you can find in the test loaded tab. So we'll go ahead and get our drag analyzer opened. Uh, in this case we're going to select two runs. We'll come back to our test run. We'll load that these two runs here and click on the test loaded tab. Now we've got the test loaded tab open and we can see here we've got a bunch of information and we'll, co we'll cover just about all of this. Uh, first thing, uh, the general information tab. This is your date, uh, your run, your number of drive and driven teeth on the, the gear ratio, uh, the tire circumference. Um, this I find very useful especially seeing as how I have one computer that I use for uh, both my girls. So I will actually come in and if you double click on run name or actually if you double click on anything in this information box it will bring up a new window where you can actually personalize. Um, so we'll come into the general information tab and uh, all of this or most of this as far as uh, the run type, the date, the run name, and the comments. Uh, those will all show up in the test run manager so that you can easily see which, you know, either which child or which car, which motor, whatever you have, whether it's a qualifying or elimination or a time trial. I will typically use time trial for a test and tune. I will use, you know, hit the qualification tab if it is a time trial before an event or if we're actually in eliminations, obviously we'll leave uh, the eliminate, you know, we'll click on the elimination tab. Since this was an elimination, I will come in, I will highlight uh, the run name. This was Caitlin and it was round number one. Now obviously you can put anything in here. You can put your, uh, you know, you put your kid's name, you can put your car number, uh, what have you. Uh, I find it uh, easiest uh, to, you know, do it like this. Uh, subsequently, if I was going to be doing, uh, if it was a qualification run and you know, or a time trial before round of one of eliminations, I would put oh, back into the box. I would just put a pair of capital T's and then obviously one or two if it was, or two if it was, you know, the second time trial of the day. Um, for a test in tune, I click on the time trial back in here and I'll use the capital T lowercase n uppercase T for uh, test and tune and then obviously either one two three depending on which uh, actual pass it was for the evening um, like I said this is round one of eliminations so we'll come in In round one, 
Um, next is your drive gear teeth. Uh, down here, uh, this is really helpful if you uh, made a gear change that you did not, that you failed to actually input into the Micron on the car. Um, let's say you actually changed from a, you know, there's, you know, you changed from a 13 or from a 1480 to a 1380 and you know you still have a 1480 gear ratio input into the micron you can actually come in here and edit that and it will recalculate everything in the QMAN software so that the gear ratio is correct just as it you know obviously you'd want to go back and correct the unit on the car with the correct gear ratio so you didn't have to come in here and input it manually You know, and you can do the same thing with the wheel circumference if you changed air pressure and forgot to change, you know, and if that affected your tire circumference, you can come in and add it. Or if you had any comments, any comments here, these are uh, key, you know, I use this box for key factors that I want to uh, keep track of, you know, so that I can quickly look at, um, you know what changes I've made in or what type of package I have or what type of setup I have on the car so I will use this box for make taking notes of you know those areas that I use to tune the car to run the number um like for this particular instance I know I uh, I had put 20 pounds in the front of the car so we will make that note here and then when we're done we will click on OK and as you can see you know came up and put that information substituted it for uh, the default and so we will come over to this round here we will change that to elimination as well change this to eight went around two our drive gear and everything is still in the same again still 20 pounds in the front and select OK Now what's, what's nice about this general information tab, when you make these changes here, you come back to the test run manager. You can see that now instead of uh, the test run manager displaying uh, the default parameters and you know run names and everything, and the run type, and it inserts your run settings comments. You know, we've got Caitlin round one, uh, the elimination round, why did it not? Ah, that was why. Unload it and then reload it, and it my note showed up. So every everything is there. It's a whole lot easier, you know. If you got two kids, you know, I find it a lot easier to name each you know, put the kids names on each round and that way you can quickly look and see which you know which kid you're looking at which car you're looking at uh, you can quickly come over here and see what setup you've run on that car for that run we'll come back uh, come back into our test loaded manager uh, run performance this is basically the same as your time slip information in the time view that we went over in the other video. Click on uh, click on anything in this and it brings up the run performance screen. So if you've noticed that you made a error in inputting your time slip data, you can just come in and edit or what have you here. You wanted to add some comments. It's all available right here from the test loaded in from you know the test loaded tab as well
Now down here, the next next section we have is marker values. Marker values can be fairly useful when you're uh, actually comparing uh, two runs. And you wanted to see what subtle differences might have happened. Um, as you, it pretty much lays out everything that happened, or all the recordings that it took at, you know, the 60, the, you know, at the starting line, the 60 foot half track and the eighth mile. So you can see here that at at the starting line, the engagement RPM for this run was 54.20, whereas this one we were about about what is it, 60 shy at 53.80, or no, 40 shy. But at the 60 foot, RPM was exactly the same. Uh, the 3.30. Uh, RPM on the second run was approximately 50 RPM higher. You know, and you can you can see that with uh, you know every marker. You know, you can check how your battery volt. You know, this one is how your battery voltage in the micron is actually displaying throughout the run. Uh, what your cylinder head temperature is doing, and so on. Uh, down here uh, we have basically your maximum maximum readings that the micron took during the pass uh, the maximum RPM that we reached the maximum cylinder head um, settings these were the settings that were on the micron displayed on the micron at the time the run initiated you know, so as soon as the driver steps on, you know, and it starts recording that it's making a pass, you know, this is basically what happened when the driver stepped on the gas. You know, launch temp, you know, cylinder head temperature, um, launch RPM, basically what you have your idle set to right before they hit the gas. Um, and then the last one is the conditions. Same as in the time view area. Uh, that you can come in and edit or input any of your, the weather conditions that you took during the run. And so that pretty much covers the uh, test loaded tab. I hope you guys found this information uh, useful and uh, give you a better understanding of what's going on inside the drag analyzer software and until next time we'll see you later